folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we're in the last week of July, July 4. Last episode we did the at sort of the first of July, but we have been extremely busy. We have been doing a ton of contracts. And if you look at the PDA, pretty much almost every field apart from ours has been harvested and I would say at the very least over half of those about two-thirds were done by us so yeah 41 we've done 42 done a few of these fields done some fields down here a few over here we even did a huge rapeseed field in 46 and yeah so what I'm gonna do now is through some clips of us completing some contracts, so not clips, screenshots. So, if we go to ah, I've already completed these contracts, we, yeah. So, I think we've done at least ooh, 12 15 contracts or so, give or take. So, yeah, what I do now is quick to some screenshots of us doing that. And also a clip of us sending some bales because that will explain why we're only down to a measly eight grand. So obviously, as you can tell, we've done a fair few contracts, not sure if I included all of them, but I include most of them, including some bales, so I think I've got like almost a hundred grand in just extra bales. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is sell some more fruit, you know, some veg, well veg and fruit juice, so that's 19 grand, because yeah, I've got like 55 grand from the big bunch of vegetable salts. Now we'll scoot up here. I'll sell the rest of the apple juice. There we go, that is an additional 37-ish grand, so the total, what was that? We've done 8 grand, so almost 60 grand. Yeah, 57 grand. So that ain't too shabby. And also what we need to do before we start doing the harvesting is quickly scoop up some raw manure. But yeah, so from as to tell from the screenshots and clips, we, at one point it was over 400 grand. So where did all that money go? Well, it's certainly not paying off the loan, still got that. But I can see from the top, July, minus 530 grand. Yep, we spent almost 400 grand on just one piece of equipment. We still part by the thumbnail. Five guests that will be in the thumbnail of sort. We bought a second combine harvester. Along with that, we sold our old small blue trader. And what we've done with that is got some new traders, so somewhere, like in that field over there. So let's quickly scoot the manure out. Leave the manure over here, so we have a look. Nope. Yeah, hop into the Massey. We got two branter power tubes, well, power tube plus, and this one is a or something. Yeah, DD, whatever that is. So, I think these were, if I had to guess, about 30,000 litres each. Yeah, 34 for the swivel axle, and basically 34 for the fixed one. So, yeah, that, it cost us a fair bit, but it was worth it. So, now we got those trays over here. 
And over here we've got the John Deere with the Trans 70. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is we've got a barley field here, right? Is that barley? So yeah, I've got barley there, barley barley. Those two are gonna be ready tomorrow. Or the next one. So we got wheat fields, we've got an oat field here. We've got a huge amount of fields, so the workers gonna be get cracking all that. Now let's head to our new combine officer. And there we go. Let's have a look, shall we? This is a New Holland 1090 with a draper header. I think it's like a 13 meter header or something like that. Because, yeah, lost browsing. I was looking for a second combine. I thought the 7.7, .7, that's very good. Been using that on by spring, or maybe the 2560, but I was like looking at the price of the combine, just over a quarter of a mil. We can get this, the 690, but it has a variety of other options 790, 880, 890, 980, 990, ah, just a whole sort of configurations. And I'm thinking, a bit of extra literage, 13,000 litres versus 10. Higher horsepower. It's going to be more reliable for us. Saving on the amount of wear and tear because, God, the cloth is... Uh, it's costing us an arm and a leg at the moment, but it's to be expected, so... Okay, yeah, we went with the 1090. I went with the long pipe. Yeah, the long pipe here at the back, so you can see... It curls in, and the header, I said, 13 meters. Yeah, 13.7 meters. Obviously, for this map, that is way too big for the fields, and that get through all the gates and lanes. But this is going to be primarily combining at the farm. We're still going to be keeping the cloths, and the header. Yeah, we've done over six hours of work already. Just do contracts alone in between episodes. And that's what we do every year. These are the cloth header. Cloth will keep. And that will be purely for contract work. But now, can we actually get this out of here? Yeah, should be able to. This thing is just really mining off the tree for an ant. The last thing I want to do is get that caught on anything. That sure also reminds me. Turn that back on. But yeah, this is absolutely huge. Looks clear. Oh, you better stop. Best part of beacons on. But yeah, so it does really for right, it gets around all good. But things like tight gates like here. If we try to enter into this field here or shouldn't be fields. Yeah, it's gonna be an absolute pain to deal with just because of how long that draper is, but for where our farm is, where our fields are, it is absolutely perfect. Simply because We've got huge access, we've got wide entrances, plenty of space to maneuver around, get to the fields. Storage may be a problem for the header. My thinking is just leave it in the field or something, or leave it around the yard and out somewhere. Because, yeah, I mean, no way getting into a shed in that. Already smashed our new combine. Absolute cluster fudger. But yeah, I think that should have class is already almost filled, so that's working south. I'm crashing again. So we need to do I think if we start up north, like 109 in that, so that requires going left here. 
that's going to be fun with all this smoke. Crash counter, what's that, four now? Okay, the worker is filled. Indicate the F, and that's going to cut me up. Yeah, we'll just try to. But yeah, it does require a bit of like a three point turn. Yeah, just having a look. I think the maneuver is right because a lot of the. It's a draper in that, so. Obviously, we need some more money. I think we need like another 60 grand at the moment. Purely for me to purchase that green meal, but we can figure out something for that, so I'm not too worried. We got like over 2 million litres of straw just sitting there, like 2.1 million. I think if we sneakily hop across a farm. Yeah, so if we get to the field, we can go here. Tight. There we go. Are we gonna hit? Yeah, we're gonna hit. And there we go. Uh, we'll just scrape the header now. As you do. But yeah, we're gonna be collecting straw, we're gonna be baiting all the straw now, so we're gonna need to hop into not you. Hop into the Massey, so. I think what we'll do is quickly get his top up sex, so just bear with me. And there it goes, but he has emptied. So, somewhere here. So, yeah, we're gonna have a fair bit of barley in that. And that's right there for the bathing. But, yeah. Without any other dizzy daddling. Let's get this thing unfolded. I'm hoping the pipe's gonna be long enough for us to extend now. Yeah, that's gonna be long enough. Just gently push it a little bit. There we go. Man, that is. Absolutely enormous. So, straw swath on. Good. And let's convoy. And the other technical issue there. We need to go to. I think it's that one. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. But. Was it a bank? Could be that. There we go, it's the bank one. Just have that access to that. But yeah, we're going to be making a lot of wheat. If I had to guess, maybe in the realm of 300,000 litres per million, something like that. I say yeah, between 200 and about 200, 250,000 litres we're gonna get here, and already we are 15% filled. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any issues with getting this all done. But anyways, I tried for long enough, so I think the best way of getting most of this done is via time now. So yeah, we'll start making a crack at this. And I'll see you folks in a little bit.
the New Holland. Nat has done 109. And field 59 is almost done, so yeah, not too bad. I hear that second combine was definitely worth it. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. Again, it's pretty much twice as worth uh, half the time pretty much with working at so yeah I am not too disappointed in that we've accepted these being contracts and that's gonna cause a bloody pain in the ass again oh right, fine just fill that one let me pop back up but yeah in terms of barley that is 55,000 litres so not too bad so I'll send that up to the farm. I'll send that somewhere there for now. It'll eventually figure out because now this needs to go onto a wheat field and help the new horn. So it's either 50, yeah, 56 pretty much. Got oats on to 58. But yeah, apart from that. Not much else needs doing. So yeah, I think we're pretty much one field done. So I think what I'll do is I'll just get the heads and done on these fields and then swap workers over as when needed. But what we need to do now is focus on straw and start picking up some of the straw from these fields. Uh, yeah, with straw, we're gonna be sending these, we're gonna sell, make the bells and sell them straight away. At the moment they're about 100, 105 quid per thousand litres. Yeah, if I wait until December I can get an extra 50% in price, but honestly I'm not too worried. Now, I'll just sell a lot of these straw bells. We've still got plenty in storage now, we've done some TMR work now. I think we're going to be fine with TMR for now because all the cows, as of July 3, for week of July, they were topped up with TMR, and as you see inside though, we've got thing like 485,000 litres, so yeah, ain't too bad, not too shabby. And if I set the worker off on here, that's gonna go that way, fine. Worker's almost done here. Again, not too bad. I should know what was done. So yeah, we'll get the worker creep across this hedgerow area here, where it's been crushed down. And this time, I make sure we go in the clock, not to anti-clockwise, because yeah, obviously you do it clockwise. You harvest that because then the pipe comes on the left. It makes more sense. Less likely to be a crop in that. And compared to the workers, he was just willing to turn around in the hedgerows. At least I was trying to be considerate. But yeah, I've got boots there. We can wait for now. Off here, yeah, get the wheat done. And yeah, nothing. What we'll do is we do the headlands. And then we'll get the workers off on their way, do whatever they want, and then we'll resume sort of on this shore because, yeah, this needs to get bailed and sold because we need another 60 grand for the bill. Filled. 
I don't need to get everything emptied, so... Yep, as I said, for now, what we're going to do is sort of green in here. And then, at some point, maybe this week or next week, we will quickly do his bane contracts. And hopefully we have enough money to purchase the green mill. Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something like 100 in... 12 grand, 115, something like that, give or take, but we can have a quick look here, so, go to the green mill, nope, green mill, there we go, see what we go, here we have a little look, somewhere here, oh no, no, it's over here, it's the trick point, so. Yeah, 121 grand, so... And yeah, the workers are just absolutely full. I should think you could go away with it. Oh no, because here we go with another combine load. But, no we can't. So yep, workers off doing that. And why did it go like that? Oh, I don't know. Just do your theme worker. Hopefully that turns around left. Don't turn right, please. Thank you very much. I will put this in here as well. And then, yeah. We need to get the show done because. Oh, uh, yeah. Quicker we get it done, quicker it gets sold. And if I had to guess, we'll probably get about. Ooh. Ouch. Not all get out, but maybe three, four hundred thousand liters of straw. If so, if it's forty thousand liters, that would be about forty grand, give or take a grand or two. And yeah, that's all that matters at the end of the day. We just need the money coming in. So actually, before we go on to do the straw. Let me just quick jump cut, quick get these emptied, and then we'll resume from there. Just gotta get these emptied. And there we go, that is workers sorted, they're on their way, everything's been all emptied in that. So yeah, it's time to get straw. And yeah, tempted to get a production, who knows? But I used straw in that, but at the moment it's all about the finances and we need the money for the green mill. Yeah, purchasing that harvester was a big change in that for us. But it is what it is, and because I think things like you get like straw manure production that I'm using on no man's land, I convert straw into manure. Actually, I'll make sure this is all set up properly. Yeah, I'm doing two four nine semi bell so. It's your typical 240 centimeter bells, but it's nine times as dense. So, I think this was it about, oh, I guess, about 81,000 liters bells. So, we're gonna have not many bells, but a lot of straw. And yeah, we're gonna miss bits from time to time here and there, but it is what it is. Ideally, we'd like to go with like a 20 meter width on the wind rower, but yeah, we shouldn't have the horsepower because that requires like 350 to 20 centimeter one, and uh, beta that requires in the realm of 250 horsepower, so we need a something like a 600 horsepower large tractor. And I think at the moment, if you want to go with that, they're very expensive. I'll see if we can find one that does 600 horsepower. Oh yeah, we can. John Deere 9R, but it doesn't have a three-point linkage on the front. Yeah, it would need to be a, a custom modded tractor on that. But yeah, with straw now, I think there's other productions with straw now. You can get like hats and that have it, like straw hats. Something in the realm of that, but. Yeah, 25% and we've already had 20,000 liter, so yeah, there's going to be a fair bit of straw here. Because I think straw, dang it, all save again, forgot about that. 
Yeah, so the automatic team one, so in case we do have a crash. Uh, it should be fine, but I think I'm... Yeah, anyway, so Shrew, if we go down here, have a look. 147, at the moment we're getting for like 102, so... You know what, that's fine by me. I'm not fussed on the profit from Shrew, because we've got other things going. We've got the greenhouses, we've got the apple juice now. Okay, we can sell the apples themselves and get more money from them in the course of a month than we would, I know, if we just wait around with straw now and get an extra 10, 20 grand at most, 3 grand at most, but workers almost full, dang it, I just sorry this. Anyways, can we get a full bell before we need to fill up the combine, or empty the combine, because the combine's filled, not emptied. Yeah, words. Uh, difficult at times. Nah, I don't think we'll get this filled up before he's on 8%, maybe we'll just hit 70. Uh, 6 and 80 sometimes. Wish we had the beater that had a bit of a wider pickup in that. Nothing stupid like with the quick bell now, which picks up everything. Just a variety. Actually, I think there was a recent update on this beta setup, so if we go down and have a look. Uh, where's the mod to? So apparently something else was added. I think, I'm not sure if it was a bell loader or a beta. I think it was a bell loader was added. Yeah, but I think it was a bell loader, and I think it was maybe one of these. Was it that one? Yeah, Arkson. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, it was a beta that was added. Oh yeah, workers filled. Dang it, it's in crop. Oh well. But yeah, workers making light work of this, and. We're going to be done by noon, pretty much, I think. Yeah, apart from the oops and that, bits here and there. Yeah, two combines is worth it. If you had the money, I would like to get a second brand new combine, but... I don't think after we've paid off the zone, we're going to be taking on a... <laughs> any more of those for a while, just because... Yeah, it's good having those, buying stuff, but then it's the stress, it's to worry about paying stuff back in that, so... And the combine is absolutely filthy! God! And the worker stopped. Uh, is that the cross? Maybe. So if that's the case then. That's already emptied, so... Mask and continue on as we set the momentum off the trans empty. Do its thing, so I'll put you over there. Yeah, you're stopped. Well, actually, in fairness, it's almost done. It's just this little bit here it struggled with, and honestly, I can't believe him. But yeah, I'm thinking already ahead now of what to do next year of. Once we get the green meal, uh, blah, blah. man, I'm struggling for words today. But yeah, once we get the green meal purchase, I'll have a look at the production rate and just see basically if we need. I doubt we need more wheat. God, if we need more wheat, then so be it. Even though I did say we was going to do cotton. I am tempted by cotton. Apparently there's a bug or something, some people's experience, but I'm going to take the risk because we've done contracts and cotton seems to be fine. Yeah, that means decent a harvester and that, but if we do like a large field or two of cotton, it'd be worth it. Especially if we can convert that into, I don't know, fabric. I get some clothes out of it, maybe. Even if it's just fabric, just one step further, still worth doing cotton for making fabric. And I 
think what we'll do afterwards is... Yeah, I'll let the... New Holland continue on with the wheat. And we'll get this thing on doing the oats. So I think... Yeah, that ain't gonna take too long to do the rest of that wheat field, so... But, yeah. We've got so much straw and... Maybe we can get... Nah, that we'll be able to get all the oats into one trailer. Maybe. If we can, good. But at the end of the day, I'm not too worried on that. <coughs> so that is... Yeah, there's going to be almost a full load. Mind my head. Because, yeah, I'm thinking what we can plant with crops and that. If we look at the planting calendar, we could do canola in August if we wanted to start planting that. Or green again. If not, then we've got to wait till next year to do something else. We can do cotton, that's February. Sorghum and that is all April. Sugar beet is April, March and that, and so soybeans. Maybe do corn or something, get some chaff and that. Who knows, there is a, a variety of things we can do here. Without smashing to the tree. Oh yeah, I'll oh, have a little ponder and I'll give it a little four now. No, don't go down there. I think we can get away with going across up here to the oats fields, hopefully. But then again, as well, we can sell the combine. Just look, like it's almost like 53 hours and that, so. I should know we should have gone that way. I think if we do. Yeah, up there in that corner over there. Combine's almost filled again. Man, that is just churning through it. I think all the waffling on is just. hitting it hard and just cracking on with it, so. Fair enough, we'll run alongside of it. Emptying and harvesting on the go. More. Nice thing with the pipe that there's ain't much wiggle room with a header and that. There we go. Yeah, I think once we've done this, get the harvester on the go. And then we'll start focusing on the That's going to be parked over here. Hopefully that doesn't get away with the combine. I don't know. I didn't realize we can hire a worker. I know you can with the wind right now, but... You know what? Fair enough. I was going to need a worker doing that. Oh um, yeah, we'll get this combine sorted, so... Now we're also going to start harvesting those... Be over there, but nope. We'll do the oops. Maybe I don't know. Think if we're planting crop next year, do oops again. Yeah, because I do want to do some productions. Obviously, I'm not gonna go over the top in that. That's what like no man's land is with by spring. We're doing uh, what's it? Potatoes, and that's gonna be processed into chips. But yeah, there's, there's a few options here we can do. Purchase more farms, get some more animals in. But yeah, definitely series ain't gonna be over up soon. <coughs> maybe around episode 50, maybe, perhaps, but because yeah, by spring, that's doing well. I know one of the series is gonna end before Christmas, because I do want to do got ideas for two Let's Play series. Or even maybe sort of merged into one, depending on if I can get the pre uh, premium edition before Christmas, because if I can get the premium edition purchase and that before Christmas, 
Obviously, I haven't purchased it yet. I've looked at the Z uh, was it Zelenska, whatever it is. And yeah, it's a decent map. Now it's like a yeah, Polish map, I think it is. Yeah, because I want to do sort of like kind of like vintage farming almost, like 60s, 70s, maybe 80s, 90s at the very most, or latest in that. You know, just do a bit of old school farming in that. Obviously, if we're doing the root crops in that, I need to do my research into the wolf. Pardon me? Yeah, the wolf in that, because I know. Yeah, like they're self-propelled harvesters and that. That's brand new, but some of the other ones, I'm looking to the age of them. But who knows, come Christmas, maybe even mods and that, that can do crop, crop harvesting. Because I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure people like Mac Trucker and that and go to <coughs> adapt that Colossus to do the Colossus, the Colossus Harvester Pact, should be exact, uh, to do new crop types, I'm sure of that. And I'm looking forward to that last thing with FS22 is the mod community. It brings new life to the game, it extends the lifetime of the game. So then developers aren't rushing to you know purchase or not purchase, develop a new game in that every year and that. But yeah I'm excited I am. Maybe yeah if we, with series and that going on <coughs> thinking Sort of either a Vinci survival and that kind of thing, and the Lunska separately or do it together. I'm not too sure yet. It really depends on a few things and that. Also, I want to play on like American maps and that, do some American farming and that. Not so really just because it's big fields and that, but just in general, I haven't really played many American maps too much. So, I think if I was going to play American map, I'll be looking at something, I don't know, maybe the American Falls by Lancy Boy? Yeah, I may want to play like a Lancy Boy map. I know he's doing, what's it, a Michigan map at the moment, he's in the works off. Recently released like a PDA of it, so I'm tempted to play on that if that comes out before the new year and that. But yeah, I've got a couple of options in that. And oh, that didn't get too far. Not far at all. Well, at least we've got one bell produced at the moment. Yeah, if we empty the beta and that, just want to have a look at this. Is it 81,000 years? Yeah, that is a huge bell. That's a super dense bell. It's, it's really stick. It's just finely squished and compacted together. Alright, I'm going to try this again with the worker now. If it's struggling then, we what we'll just do this ourselves, but... So yeah, I think we need to get the rest of this all done. Harvesters needs... needs to be all done in that. <coughs> and I think come by 2 o'clock, everything will be done. So yeah. Well, at least the combine in that, the straw, eh, not so much, that's going to be a bit longer, but anyways, we'll get the rest of this finished off, and I'll see you folks afterwards.
done with all the combining for today. If we have a look here, go to our crops, have a look. It is all being harvested. Looking blue sec, so yeah. What we've got to do next is the barley on these two fields and right up there. Sugar bee and the field of beans aren't going to be ready for some time. And just looking at some other fields of possible contracts. Oh, this one's new ready. What's that one? 88. That's uh, potatoes, right? Nope, sorghum. I thought it was sorghum. It was either sorghum or potatoes. Yep, yeah, sorghum. So, if we get like 88 and 136 popping up, that'd be a very nice contract to do. Along with like 95 as well over there. But yeah, there's a few options for us. But yeah, so we are going to sell our forge wagon here. It's no longer needed. As well as we haven't used it for ages, not since like the first bash of signage before we had the build order and that, because we're making bales. So we just pick it up. Can't use it for contracts. And if you are doing signage, yeah, signage will be it. I have got the wheel loader, so when it comes into the bunker silo, I see even if we did pick up this, actually, so forget about that bit there. But yeah, so we sell some milk. The worker is just heading down to Floyd Down Stores, and we're going to sell some milk. We're going to sell this. This should get about 50 grand, maybe, give or take, hopefully. But yeah, also we've got the combine set up, so we've got the cross over here. I think, yeah, the cross over here with the trans trailer. I doubt it's needed, but oh well. Anyway, so yeah, as I was saying, we sell this, get about 50 grand. Should get about 22 grand for the milk, so between that, we should have enough money to purchase a green milk. Worker's almost there, so I'm gonna arrive there at the same time. But yeah, I said, no longer needed. Not since, yeah, the first batch of signage, so I thought, heck it. So, because I was thinking, how are we gonna get 60 grand within a week and that? I thought, yeah, I've got milk and that. Milk, Surrey, Am and York, that'd be about 40 grand between them. Maybe a couple of grand as well for maybe ten grand at most for the apple juice and that, but then this popped up for oh yeah. Oh, oh you stupid. Go on, move out of the way. Turns like I didn't have my beacons on, but still. Anyway, so I think whilst we're down here. We could go ahead and repair the massy swell. Give it a little service. Yes, the massy, so. There we go. Four grand for that. Oh, yeah, about 47 grand, so. Not too bad. And that is the milk as well. So yeah, that is 120 grand. And go to the right mill. 120 something. There we go. 121,800 weight. Just have to wait there for a sec, it's a bit noisy. And yeah, again, sorry episodes, we was on 8 grand. Now we're back down to 6, so... Well, yeah, it is absolutely worth it. So we can get bread underway soon. And if we head down here, we can have all of our flowers. So we can have, besides from sorghum, which we haven't got. Furnace, we should have done sorghum, but oh well. So yeah, we can do oat flour. We can get too much out of that. Rye we're going to be doing tomorrow, barley and wheat. 
So yeah, if we have a look at our storage, yeah, 2.2 million is true. But yeah, so 180,000 years of wheat, 55,000 years for barrier from that one field, and 70,000 years of oats. So yeah, not too bad. A decent hole. I am extremely happy with that. Because yeah, I think in if we get the flower, that is going to be worth about 1400. And if we further process that into said bread, wait till when it's at its absolute peak, which is around December, and we'll get a five and a half grand per thousand a year. So, yeah, even that's, yeah, that's a two to one, so four thousand a year, so yeah, or four thousand pounds. So, it's definitely worth doing the bread. And yeah, besides from that, worker stopped again. Uh, give up the worker and that. Yeah, we've got short work to do and that as well. That's going to take a fair time. But I think that's where we're going to leave it today. So yeah, next time, we got straw to deal with. we got the grain meal to deal with. And hopefully we will also have bread to deal with. Not sure on the bread, but who knows. So yeah, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, prior to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's been far more Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.